All right, so I'm out here in the metal shop today, and uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on how I notch tubes uh, for making the suspension links of uh, off-road vehicles. Uh, so this technique that we're about to show you is uh, it works really well for simple notches Probably not going to be too helpful if it's notching up to a bend in a tube or something complex like that So basically as you guys can see here We have a hole saw that's just been chucked into a lathe. This is my South Bend 9 inch lathe Then we also have this angle iron jig right here Let me take the camera off so you can see the jig yeah, so you can see it's one piece of angle iron here uh, and another piece right here and they've been welded together and then there's a hole, focus, there's a hole, uh, so you can bolt this into the T-slot of your cross slide with a washer just like that. Uh, and then uh, you tighten that down and you clamp your tube into there. And then you can uh, use it to cut notches out of the end of your tube. Now, of course, the hole saw needs to be the size of the tube that you're planning on uh, joining up to. So this is the tube that I'm planning on joining this piece up to. And as you can see, the hole saw, they are the same diameter. This is one and a half inch diameter, and this is one and a half inch diameter. All right, so now I'm about to demonstrate this jig to you guys. And I'm going to do this in real time so you can see how fast it is. Uh, and make a judgment for yourself whether you'd like to try it. The lathe is on. Now I'd like to put some cutting oil just to make sure it cuts smoothly. I forgot, I like to put two clamps on here uh, just to make sure that it's completely rigid. And uh, as an added note, this, this whole fixture needs to be completely rigid. There can be no possible movement at all. You have to tighten your slides down. The slides cannot be loose at all. I tighten mine down pretty much all the way uh, because it won't work if it's not perfectly tight. Uh, it'll make a ton of noise and it'll break your hole saw eventually. The teeth will start popping off. I've tried it. All right. And then I'm just going to turn on the auto feed right now. So as you can see, the machine's doing the whole thing by itself. Uh, the auto feed's on. It's cutting away right here. It doesn't look like much, uh, but it's saving me a ton of time basically. about to be finished here. You can see it's basically done cutting through. There we go. She's all done. Turn off the power feed. Turn off the lathe. Alright, so put you guys back in the tripod and we'll unclamp it and see how well this turned out. The end will be really hot, so don't don't touch it like I'm doing. Well, I can't get that little piece off there. There we go. So as you can see, we have a basically a perfect notch. There's a few burrs on it, so you'll need to clean it up on your grinder or your wire wheel. That's what I like to use. Uh, but just to show you how perfect it is, fits right up, just like a glove. All right, so. As an added note, 
Uh, once again, I really just want to strike on the whole rigidity thing. Uh, when I first made this jig, I didn't have these gussets here that uh, improve the strength of the whole thing. And without those gussets, it flexed just enough to uh, be completely inoperable. I mean, it barely cut at all. Uh, and I thought this thing wouldn't work at all, so I almost gave up on it. But then I decided to just try these as an afterthought. And the whole thing worked flawlessly after I did that. Looseness or any way that the tube can wiggle uh, is a bad thing. And you need to get rid of it if you want this to work. And when it does work, it works so well. You'll be happy you tried it. Unless, of course, you already have a whole saw tube notcher. And then you don't need to do that. But uh, if you already got a lathe and you're thinking about getting a notcher, you might as well just try this and save yourself the money. Save yourself 100 or 200 bucks. Well, anyway, that's all I have to say about that. So, thank you guys for watching.